Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a sick video for y'all. Super hyped for it. So today I'm going to be showing y'all a plug and play mod that y'all can install in your car to make your car feel a whole lot faster without having to do anything like tune or tear anything apart or needing a laptop. Like you need no tools for this at all. Real quick, I want to thank all y'all though for all the love and the support. Uh, definitely keep it up. If you're not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. I love making videos for y'all, helping y'all out. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up. It helps tell YouTube that I'm doing a good job here. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. So today what I have is the InGen Pedal Pro Black Edition. So basically what this is, is it is a throttle controller. Now what is a throttle controller, you ask? Basically, what a throttle controller does is it basically plugs into your throttle and basically adjusts the sensitivity or etc. Uh, from the pedal input that you're putting in. So stock pedals from the factory are really mushy and have like really bad response timing. And you know this because when you click the throttle, you have that little delay from when you press the gas to when your car actually goes. So this right here should help us with that. It's gonna plug into our throttle and basically help out with all that. Sport mode you can see has nine levels to take advantage of, has eco mode, and for cars that don't have launch control, it has a launch control drag, uh, drag race mode. So basically gets you that max acceleration faster, like a little launch control feature. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this open and open this up. Cables and stuff. Now you can see once we open it up, we have a few things in here. So we have cables, 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 cables. So what do all these cables do? Well, now we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. So now we're gonna go ahead and go out to the car. This is gonna plug into the top of the throttle on the BMW. And then this little cable is gonna plug into the power control box here. From there, everything else is dictated on this little controller that you can route wherever. So we're gonna go outside, we're gonna plug it up right now, and I'm basically gonna show you how easy it is to plug in the black edition that we have now, you know, and basically adjust our throttle control. But yeah, let's go ahead and zoom outside. So, cutscene. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove these three screws that are holding this little kick panel in, so one, two, and three. So all you're gonna need is a T20 screwdriver, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the freaking retention bolt we have for the pedal right here, and it should be a five millimeter hex. So go ahead and loosen this. And that bolt should come right out. So now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can move this so we can freaking install that pedal commander. So from here, the whole pedal should just slide out and you can see the connector on the side. So we're gonna go ahead and undo that connector and basically install our freaking throttle control harness into there. All right, and just like that, basically gonna push in these two clips and slide it out. It's gonna be mounted on the side of the pedal. There's only one way these harnesses can fit, so you don't have to worry about putting it in the wrong way. You're basically just gonna slide this one into here, just like that till it clicks. Do the same thing here, and then we're gonna go ahead and put our pedal back into position, and uh, yeah, should be good to go. So now you guys can see this is lit up, so this is good to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and throw our throttle back into position, and uh, yeah, we can go play around with this and see, see what we think of it before we put our panel, top panel back on. should slide in just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our same retention screw and put this back into place. So from here, you're gonna have some cables and stuff. We're not gonna put our top latch back on to push that out the way. So we're gonna route our cables to the side so it doesn't interfere with the pedal. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and basically test this out and test out our freaking new unit. And if we like it, we'll keep it in and we'll reinstall everything. All right, so to sync it, we're gonna get all of our accessories in the accessory two position. Now we're going to go ahead and hold down the mode button. We're going to hold it all the way down until it counts down and keep holding, holding, holding. All the way till it shows an L. Once it shows that flashing L, you can let go. So now we're going to go ahead and click this up button. Should bring it to the H with the full throttle. So now we're going to floor our accelerator all the way down to the ground. So floor it all the way down, hold it. And now we're gonna click the freaking up button, bring it to the zero, and you see it's all the way just like that. 
has all the lights for the full throttle. So now when it has the zero that's not flashing with the full throttle arrows going the full way through, that means that the setup is complete. So now we're gonna slowly let off the gas and you should see it start to go down just like that. Now when you click the gas, you let go. Now you know it's working because it's corresponding. While I'm clicking the gas, the arrows are moving. Basically you're gonna click the mode button and uh, yeah, you should be able to go through and basically check everything. So eco mode, one, two, three, etc. normal, sport. So yeah, basically all we do is mount this somewhere, but we're gonna go ahead and hold off on mounting this because I wanna make sure this is worth it. All right guys, so now before we go ahead and mount everything back up and freaking uh, put all the panels on and decide where I wanna mount this, we're gonna take it out on a test drive and make sure this is worth it, make sure this is what I want. Basically make sure it doesn't damage the car in any way. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see if it works. I'll be dropping a full review on this video later on, showing you all the ins and outs of it and basically seeing if it was worth it times and stuff like that but for now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just make sure it works well guys after installing my throttle commander and driving it out around the city i will say it is definitely a huge difference 100 percent for sure it is not just in your head like it is definitely a difference think of it as like a sport mode you can introduce to your car without it basically holding the gears uh for that extra rev so i mean basically is it going to damage reliability no it shouldn't damage reliability but it does make the car feel a whole lot faster if we were running zero to 60s i would definitely say it's faster with a throttle commander because you're getting up to speed faster now is it going to add horsepower no are you going to go to a dyno and it's going to do anything impressive no but i will say this is absolutely perfect for those of y'all out there who have na cars that you want like more speed out of but you don't per se want more power and you don't want to hurt reliability then this is a perfect mod guys especially if you can get it at a good price if y'all like this video or you want me to go ahead and drop a review freaking on the full thing go ahead and drop that thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed i don't know what y'all are waiting for smash the subscribe button and uh, yeah comment if you want me to do review any other products or if you have any issues with this one as always thanks for watching guys i'll see y'all in the next freaking video peace out